Well, good morning and welcome back to the bookshop. Some little while ago, I gave you a tour of the bookshop. If you haven't seen that one, do take a look. But now what I want to do is give you a little insight into how the buying and selling process goes. So don't go away. So here's where it starts. These are some books that I bought from um, a, a seller the other day, um, and it's a very typical scenario. Somebody will bring some books in and I'll buy them. Um, I wouldn't normally leave them lying around the shop like this, but because the shop's closed under lockdown, um, I'm not, don't even really put them away, but uh, usually I'd put them away straight away. This is where the skillful part of the business comes in, probably the most skillful part. It's knowing what to buy and also what not to buy, actually, and how much to pay for it. You do have to be careful, and it's something really that's only gained by experience, because when I first started in this business, I just bought just about everything that, was, that I was offered and just learned from sheer hard work uh, that an awful lot of stuff has just very little commercial value. You have to really bear in mind not just the... The price that you think you can sell a book for but also how long you think it may take to sell and believe you me some books do take an awful long time to sell you need to also remember you know which things are going to sell in the shop or have a better chance of selling in the shop and which on the internet the more obscure things tend to sell on the internet um, and the internet is a very a very competitive place so um, suffice it to say one has to be discerning about uh, what one buys but having done that uh, we then process them so we go over to the workspace which is my desk over here and what I do is I look at the book um, sometimes I have to clean it up a little bit there's one here that I did um, did earlier actually I'll use this book as an example of how the cataloging process uh, takes place this is where I enter this onto my, it's a local database. So this one is not connected online. Um, I have to enter in all the, uh, the various properties of that book. So the title goes in, the author, and then the condition, uh, who the publisher was, the publishing year, and then a description here of any flaws that there are. I mean, this one's uh, very little flaws. So uh, I've described it as very good very clean and tidy book with a little sign of wear. And then I put an indication of how, what sort of size the book is, which is just here. This is a quarto book. And then very importantly, the location that it's gonna be um, stored in, which is transport. So when I open the shop in the morning and let's just close that off. And I look at my emails, which is here. I can see any inquiries that have come through overnight and also any orders that have come through. Uh, so I obviously need to answer those emails. Sometimes people will say, uh, can you send this book to me directly? Uh, I don't want to go through one of the websites. Um, can I phone you with a credit card, a credit card number or something? Um, or somebody might want to know. Um, can they have some more pictures of a certain book or something or with some details on a particular page? So uh, those answered, I can then go on to my account, which is here, which is, we'll just go on to this one at the moment. I use Amazon as well, but this one's AB Books, which is the largest book, uh, online book selling database in the world. And I then have to find those books. So if we look at this one here, I've sold overnight a copy of Biggles Follows On. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, there's five orders altogether, but let's just get this one out first. So I just uh, copy that number and I go back onto my local database and just see that, put that one in and punch up that number, it comes up. Okay, so I'm looking for a copy of Biggles Follows On, and it is located in the cabinet. Right, so this is how it works. 
we go over to the cabinet and look I've got a lot of Biggles books here so Biggles follows on which is this one here as a double check I want to check that the the num the catalogue number is the same so let's just go back on here we're looking for number 99267 99267 so that checks out so that is correct you know it may be that you've got two copies of that book so you need to make sure that you're actually selling the correct one so that being done the orders then have to be processed so we go on here we process this order we then get the details and if it, everything's okay we let's just hold that steady so you can see it if everything's okay we'll just click that, click that and save that order that order is then processed the customer is then charged it's a completely secure transaction so i don't have any uh, any site of, of anyone's card number that goes through the ab book site as a secure transaction they actually pay me um, every week that the money comes through for that so that being done we then need to just print that order out um, right so all these books now have to be packed now to do that i have several sizes of wrappers which are these cardboard mailing wrappers here this is the one i use the most which is size C2 and that's kind of for your, your normal sort of octavo size book and then we've got the C3 which is for the quarto size book I buy these by by the hundred um, and then we've got we've got a larger one here which I don't buy too many of but um, I do need some of these sometimes for the large art books I've also got these Cardboard envelopes which can take slim books, and these ones here which can take sort of slimmer pamphlets. They're very handy, those are. I spend about a thousand pounds a year on packaging like this, and about five or six thousand pounds a year on postage, which hurts. So the books are then wrapped and then they're weighed. That's my little weighing scale here, and then I just write the, the weight on them, and I take all the orders back down to my workspace again and I go on to my Royal Mail account which is this one here just log in here and this is a very efficient system I must hand it to Royal Mail their old system was a bit clunky but this one is very good so if I look on here it will show me the, uh, the orders from Amazon are actually loaded onto here automatically. So I just click on that and it shows me all the different orders that I've got up here. So I process those orders and I won't bore you, bore you with all the details, but suffice it to say each, um, each, each item then has a, um, a shipping label, which is printed out here on this little handy printer here which is the most expensive printer I've ever bought I think it was 150 pounds and it just prints labels but it prints the right size labels which Royal Mail insist on us using which is in this modern age do you know what size they are they're six inches by four inches that's the official size not in metric no it's six by four so they're all printed out and each one of those gets uh, gets slapped onto the parcel. The good thing about this system actually is that each label uh, carries a 2D barcode. So I can actually check on this system here that the item has been delivered. So it, it's a kind of tracking system. It's not fully trackable, but it's actually pretty handy. I can, I can tell whether something has been delivered or not. And um, that's got me out of trouble a few times where people have said, and where's where's my book and I can look it up and say well it was actually delivered on a certain day and then they go oh, oh yes it was or it might have been left outside or something so um, you know it, it, it's very handy for doing that and of course nothing is done without further paperwork so this all then has to be 
uh, what they call manifested. I have to print out a, um, a sheet on A4, which again comes out on the printer here. And then the books all get put into mail sacks and then they go off to the post. Well, I hope that has once again given you a glimpse into the world of book selling. As you can see, it's a mixture of inspiration and perspiration. I'd say probably mainly perspiration. Uh, but anyway, I hope that was entertaining. Um, do keep those questions coming and take care.